Hello there everyone, today's video is all about reverse premiums. So reverse premiums in this particular case is when, let's say you are a tenant and you want to get out of your the, uh, the tenancy agreement that you have with your landlord and you want to basically surrender the lease. Now, you could be several months or years away from the end of the lease or break clause period. So you basically go to the landlord and you say, look, I want to surrender the lease. And the landlord says, fine, you got to pay me a few quid to do so. So you've got to pay the landlord to get out of your lease. Now, what are the tax implications for that if you are the tenant? So not considering the landlord now, if you are the tenant. So the general rule in the tax world is that if you have to make a payment to get out of what is called an onerous liability, the tax rules come out with that phrase, an onerous liability to get out of that by paying something generally that is tax deductible. So it will come off against revenue, against profits, if the payment relates to a capital asset, then that payment to get out, again, to get out of that onerous liability would not be a revenue deduction, but it would reduce your capital gains tax in the future when you come to sell the related asset. However, unfortunately, the rules also say that these so-called reverse premiums, that deduction for getting out of an onerous liability doesn't hold. So you may think that by paying the landlord um, a fee to surrender the lease, you're getting out of an onerous liability. Taxman doesn't see it like that. So there is no tax deduction, either a revenue deduction or a capital deduction for paying a reverse premium to a landlord for surrendering uh, the lease so you can get out of a lease. So do bear that in mind when you're negotiating with a landlord, uh, when you're doing a deal and he says, look, I'll let, I'll let you get out of the lease, but I want a few quid for it. Bear in mind, if you're in this situation, you will not get tax relief for that payment, whether you are income tax, 20%, 40%, or corporation tax, 19%. So factor that in into your calculations, into your negotiations, that it's going to cost you that bit more than it would otherwise have done because you're not going to get the tax relief. So just a quick video there on uh, so-called reverse premiums that go from a tenant to a landlord wanting to surrender a lease. If you like this video, please do subscribe. And as always, I'll see you soon.